You want to keep your dog healthy and enable them to live a longer and happier life. If you are a pet lover, then I know your answer to that question, which is why I put together 6 most important things to look for when choosing the best dog food for your dog. Before we get on with the list, if you are a new visitor to the channel and you happen to enjoy the video, and I know you will, I invite you to subscribe and tell other pet lovers to do the same. Now let's take a look at the 6 most important dog food judge tips for choosing the best dog food. Tip number 1. Pay attention to dog food ingredients. The most important thing when it comes to choosing the right food for your pet is to take a look at the ingredients on the label. Meat should be listed first, but be careful. There are certain dog foods that instead of fresh meat contain meats of unknown origin, often meat unfit for human consumption, and meats obtained from meat byproducts, parts of animals unfit for human consumption. Stay away from products containing these types of meats because they are unhealthy and of worse quality, they have a lower nutritional value and they have an inferior taste. What if you find corn, wheat or soybeans on the dog food label? Corn, wheat and soy are some of the main causes of allergies in dogs, so I would suggest that you avoid them. The main reason why dog food manufacturers use these kinds of ingredients is their low cost. Tip number 2. Take a look at the list of preservatives in dog food. Why are preservatives used in dog food? Dog food is made with preservatives so it can stay fresh and last for as long as possible. It's important to point out that there are good and bad preservatives. What kinds of preservatives are good? Only preservatives made from vitamin C and E are natural, making them great for keeping your pet healthy. What sorts of preservatives are bad? Some of preservatives are unhealthy, dangerous or even carcinogenic. Which ones? Avoid dog food that contains the following BHA preservatives. These are highly carcinogenic, a toxicoin preservative, cause of allergic reactions, skin problems and organ failure, carrageenan, weakens immunity and increases the risk of malignant tumors, propylene glycol reduces the lifespan of red blood cells and sodium triphosphate causes skin problems. These preservatives have a hugely detrimental effect on the health of your pet. If you would like your dog to live a long and healthy life, I advise to stay far away from products that contain these preservatives. Tip number 3. Percentages of foods in the nutritional composition. The name of the specific dog food you are buying should tell you a lot about that food. There are a few things you might find in the name of the product. First, the dog food's name includes the majority ingredient. This means the product should contain 95% of the ingredient in question. You want to aim for foods that mention meat in their name, such as salmon, chicken, beef, etc. If the food has cereals, vegetables, corn or similar in its name, it's probably best to avoid it. Second, the dog food's name contains the words dinner or formula. Products with the dinner or formula in their name contain a minimum of 25% of that ingredient. And third, the dog food has the words wheat or flavor in its name. The word wheat signifies that the food should contain a minimum of 3% of the ingredient, while the word flavor means that the food should only contain the taste of that ingredient. In summary, salmon dog food minimum 95% salmon, salmon dinner dog food minimum 25% salmon, dog food with salmon minimum 3% salmon, salmon flavor dog food salmon only in taste. These percentages do not include the moisture in dog food, so the actual share of the listed ingredient is slightly smaller. Tip number 4. Your individual pet's traits. Every dog is unique and has a whole world of quirks and differences compared to others. If you get to know your dog, you can ensure you are only buying the very best dog food for their specific needs. How? Take into consideration their size, age, health and illnesses common to their breed and way of life. Depending on the size and age of your dog, you should pay particular attention to their calorie intake. Puppies are known to require more calories during the day. When it comes to health, make sure to pay attention to any allergies your dog might have and whether they get enough water through drinking or they require wet dog food with increased water content. Their way of life depends on their physical activity, wherein it's necessary to give your dog low calorie food if they are physically inactive, so they do not become overweight. Tip number 5. Pay attention to the technologies and quality of dog food production. 
Preserving dark food necessitates thermal processing, but even the highest quality ingredients can become bad quality ones if they are processed incorrectly. Makes sense, does it? Dark food comes in the following varieties – dry dark food, dehydrated dark food, canned dark food and raw dark food. So, now the question in your mind is probably – which one of these types of food is the healthiest for my dog? I prefer dehydrated dark foods because they contain very few preservatives, the thermal processing is kept to a minimum, the food is complete and well balanced, doesn't require additives, and after processing, the food retails nearly all of its original nutritional value. I stand behind my recommendation, but dehydrated dark foods tends to be very expensive, so it might be a good idea to think about something more affordable if you have more than one dog. And tip number 6 – be careful when selecting a dark food brand. Well-known dog food manufacturers pay kennels and veterinarians to endorse their products. Not every famous brand is going to be the right choice for your pet's health. So, how do you choose the best brand for your dog? It's advisable to take a look at multiple sources of information, such as The best source – independent experts the best sources of information about dog food brands are independent experts who take time to test various kinds of dog foods. There are tests such as comparisons of the top 5 or top 10 dog food brands as well as reviews where you can see a detailed analysis and reasons why a particular dog food might be better or worse. I'm sure you will all agree that it's a better idea to take a look at an independent expert's analysis than to trust a picture of a kennel owner next to a famous brand. Good source – customer experiences and reviews. Customer reviews are usually a reliable source of information. Still, users who leave comments sometimes have an inherent bias or lack the competency to correct and objectively judge dog foods, so take the reviews with a grain of salt. And also a good source – forums with a dog food section. Internet forums are a great source of information. Reputable pet forums will have both dog owners and experts recounting their experiences and discussing their opinions on the best brands of dog food. I suggest you take some time to look through the various information sources. You should be aware that there are manufacturers who tend to trick customers into buying their products even when it's not the best choice. On top of that, the people we tend to trust, such as dog breeders and veterinarians, are not always impartial. Take a look through the tests conducted by independent experts, they should at least tell you the reasons why they rated a particular dog food brand as the best. I know, choosing the best food for your dog is no simple task when you see so many different brands on offer in pet stores. It's easy to get lost, which is why I decided to make this video. I hope you will consider following my advice on 6 most important things to look for in dog food, so you can choose what's best for your beloved pet. Keep in mind that selecting the appropriate dog food plays an essential role in your dog's health, growth, beauty and happiness. Are you aware of any other things to look for that I haven't mentioned in the video? If you have any comments, critiques or suggestions, I invite you to share them with us by leaving a comment below the video. I hope you've enjoyed the video and that you will recommend it to other pet lovers you know. Would you like to see more? In the description, I have prepared links to the videos with the best, worst and most affordable foods for your dog, along with many more. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss new ones in the future. Let's keep our pets healthy and happy! Bye!